Hey guys, Andy here, and today I'm gonna give y'all a little update on the state of me, Andy. So, midterms have finally come and gone for this spring 2022 semester, woo, and I have my grades all set up right here. So, let's get into it. This semester, I'm taking five classes because my internship also counts as a class. Running through the list here, uh, my grades are a B, an AB, an A, a BC and an AB. Now, for those of you who don't know what an AB or a BC is, because my school likes to do things just a little differently, uh, it's basically like an in-between grade. So count the AB as somewhere in between an A minus and a B plus, and then subsequently the BC as a B minus C plus, which brings my current GPA at the time of recording to a 3.3. It did take a little bit of a dip from previous semesters, but Still, all things considered, pretty good, especially considering this is my second to last semester. So all's well ends well. And plus, you know, I have more opportunities to uh, make up for uh, some lacking parts uh, later this semester. Anyway, that said, let's move on to some youtube -y stuff. Now, I know I sound like such a broken record, always talking about, well, guys, I'm just really busy with work and school and I just don't have time to go outside and film videos and stuff. Which is true, you know, I'm very busy with school, especially now with the internship. But I do want to make a concerted effort to make some videos outside, touching grass and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to be working on some new videos. In fact, right before I started working on this video, I was working on a video that I shot out at the Gundam factory in Yokohama. I'm gonna be putting together a uh, quick little video on that. Well, actually, I don't know how quick it'll be, but it'll be a video nonetheless. And I really enjoyed my time out there. After I was done, my shoulders and stuff were really hurting because I had the camera up at such a high angle and it was like trying to zoom in on like the head and the hands and all this other stuff. By the time I was all done, like my shoulders were just like mm, just really stiff. As I was reviewing the footage, I noticed that there was a lot of shakiness. I'm thinking of getting some sort of stabilizer, like a gimbal or something like that. And then as far as other YouTube projects, aside from that, uh, I definitely do want to shoot another version of the Gundam Factory video, but this time at night, because as much as I loved going there during the day, I felt like there's a lot that I missed by not going at night because of the light show that happens when you go there. Because I was seeing a bunch of uh, pictures and videos of people going there at night and it looks just really awesome with the Gundam lighting up and all kinds of stuff. And then I also want to do a video talking about my experiences on Japanese television. And this was a while ago actually, I had to put it off just because stuff kind of got away from me. So that's gonna be coming down the pipes eventually. As I said before, this semester is pretty gosh darn busy. I have no like set dates for when these videos are coming out. It's just uh, if they come, they come, and when they come, they come. So now let's get into the personal news. And again, I feel like such a broken record for saying a lot of the same stuff. You know, I ended up having to scrap my recording of these update videos several times because I felt like I was just repeating myself over and over again. It's like, oh, I'm just so busy. Oh, I got school. Oh, I got this. Oh, I got that. Which, like I said earlier, it's all true. But one thing I noticed that really affected me this semester in particular was just how severe my burnout was. Now, as you guys know, I've been kind of dealing with some burnout in, in terms of like creativity, not really having enough time and energy end of college do be like that it was just very very hard on me so i decided for the past couple weeks to really take into consideration just my own mental well-being going out and hanging out with people and stuff was really starting to bring me out of this uh this negative headspace that i've been in for quite some time because as you guys know with old karonsuke going around in the air uh it's been kind of hard to get out there and mingle with people and plus you know everybody's got their jobs and other stuff they're doing you know even if they're in college like they have their own schedule of things and plus me not being in Tokyo makes it a bit more difficult for me to get out there and just hang out you know so you have to really schedule things 
in advance, especially so I don't miss the last train. That one's a doozy, let me tell you. You know, I've been hanging out with some people, getting outside, interacting, and it's just been feeling really great. I'm starting to feel like a, a normal human being once again. And it just, you know, really emphasized that, you know, there's, there's just times, obviously, to work really hard and put some progress towards your goals. And as I heard from a, a video from Matt Diavella, you can't pour from an empty cup. So I've basically been doing stuff to refill my cup, basically. So just getting outside, filming some stuff of, you know, the Gundam factory and hanging out with friends and, you know, just getting out, doing stuff, even if it's not always for a YouTube video. And so I've been feeling a lot less misanthropic and a lot less angry and bitter and depressed about stuff, which is good. Very good. And plus, you know, with Hanami right around the corner, it's going to be high time for content creators out here in Japan to be uh, filming some stuff. So I can't be slacking in that regard, right? So I guess to be getting out there and filming some stuff of my own once the uh, cherry blossoms start blooming. There's a couple of them that are blooming here and there, but it's, you know, a bit inconsistent right now. But, you know, I just give it maybe a couple weeks and uh, that'll change. For sure. So yeah, just wanted to say thanks to everybody who's uh, been interacting with me on other social media, Discord. It really does mean a lot to me. You know, especially since I'm since I'm not making content all that regularly. I guess uh, before we end the video here, I do want to ask you guys a question. And I've been getting a lot of good ideas in the Discord, but something that I've been thinking a lot about is just kind of like. What do we do with the channel? When I first started Andy Japandi as a series, before the, the channel renaming, um, it was just to show you guys around Japan and show all kinds of cool spots and stuff. And I do enjoy doing that. But I did it with the intention of maybe one day some of you guys might come out to Japan and visit those spots. And, you know, it's with this touch and go situation with Japan opening up or not opening up in this case. You know, it's very hard to say when, you know, the country will be open for you guys to, to come in and, and visit. Uh, thankfully for international students, it's a lot more possible. They are starting to slowly open things up for international students recently. But as far as regular tourists and stuff like that, it's very early days. I, I wouldn't expect anything unless it's like end of this year, 2022, at the absolute earliest. Yeah, I was just thinking of different types of, of content that I could do. I mean, obviously going around Japan showing you guys stuff is definitely high on the list, stuff that I wanna do. And if you have any spots that you'd like me to film and talk about and stuff like that, just let me know. Comments down below, in the boobity boops. For other types of series, uh, when I came back to Japan, you know, I started talking more about my experience as a study abroad student. And there's definitely a lot to talk about for sure. And I shared a lot of stuff about my experience, you know, answering some questions and stuff like that. So if you guys have any uh, questions about being a study abroad student, feel free to let me know down below. And if you guys have any other types of suggestions for content that you'd like to see from me, I'm open to a lot of different things as long as you know it's respectful of course you know <laughs> you know how the internet is sometimes yeah you know i just want to try some new things and get out there and make my own content in addition to making content for other people too anyway guys i think that's going to do it for this little uppy date video so with that said this is andy sign up for now and as always forever we'll see you next time catch you later guys bye